Let's just summarize our results then. We've gone through and derived formulas describing the natural response and the step response for circuits involving resistors and capacitors or inductors and capacitors. For the RC circuit, the time constant tau is simply equal to the product of the resistance times the capacitance. For the RL circuits, the time constant was equal to the ratio of the inductance to the resistance. It turns out, and it can be shown through similar analysis, that in general, any voltage or current found in any circuit involving resistors and capacitors or resistors and inductors will be of the same form. And in fact, we can say then in general that any voltage or current X as a function of time in such a circuit as these will equal the final value or the value that the the quantity approaches as time approaches infinity plus the initial value of that quantity or that uh, circuit parameter minus the final value times e to the minus t minus t0 over tau. This formula accounts for the possibility of the switching event happening at t equals t0 rather than t equals 0. Equivalently, and uh, notation varies from book to book, and uh, I guess we all have our own favorite notations. But another form is, instead of talking about x at infinity, simply referring to it as the final value. So again, we could say any voltage or current in these circuits, representing that voltage or current as x, as a function of t, is equal to x final plus x initial minus x final e to the minus t minus t0 over tau. These solutions work for both a natural response, in which case the final quantities, x at infinity or x final, would be zero, and you're simply left with then x of t is equal to the initial quantity times e to the minus t minus t zero over tau. And obviously they work for the step response also.